my name is Hannah Pike and I did a formal business report for my business communication class for Shasta College. My report was based on the Rosen Watchman Bakery and Tea Shop. The Rosen Watchman Bakery is the bakery that I own and the tea shop has been an idea for many years and I used, I used it for my research. Um, so I did a survey on surveymonkey.com and I distributed it my, myself personally on Facebook and then from there I had three other friends who also distributed it for me and I posted it on the Shasta College Canvas forum for my other students to see and also participate in. I don't know how many reports I received back from which place, Facebook or the Canvas. I just know the total number was 109, but since I'm not a SurveyMonkey member, I can only see 100. So my survey was based on the 100 responses that I got and I also did a interview with someone from the Chamber of Commerce. I told you this topic is very interesting to me. So I used that as part of my research as well and I am supposed to read my executive summary so bear with me. Uh, Red Bluff is a small town that has been hit hard by the recent economic depression and has left room for business growth as the re recession has eased. The Rosen Watchman Bakery has seized this opportunity by starting in 2014. The growth of the bakery has steadily climbed ever since. The business started home-based and catered to local Chamber of Commerce farmers market, private venues such as birthdays and weddings, and more recently, Chico State University Engineering Department with a grand total of 700 cupcakes. This business has proven itself to be successful despite having been home-based. The dream is now to expand and introduce the tea shop. This report will give the conclusion of research findings based on data collected by a survey of over 100 people and interviews with the members of Chambers Commerce. Analysis will include how the business has grown since 2014, why the tea shop will flourish in Red Bluff, what local thought, locals thought of the tea shop when interviewed or surveyed, the conclusion of these findings will show that this idea has shown great promise in be, being beneficial to many people in the community. So that's my executive summary. Um, it's kind of hard for me to read the summary of my findings of my survey because I didn't do a summary of my findings, um, but I did do a conclusion and a recommendation, and that reads... After analysis of the research conducted, it shows that a tea shop would be readily welcomed. The need for serving coffee in addition to tea would be highly recommended, and the ideas of doing functions such as weekly game nights and serving a monthly high tea would do very well, and the idea was readily welcomed by those who have partook of the survey. The survey showed that having a drive through was not a necessity. This makes purchasing a building that can house game nights and high tea easier to find, as many drive through buildings are quite small. Purchasing local ingredients is not a priority for many customers and is recommended to purchase as many possible and advertise those few ingredients that haven't bought, been bought local, such as all of our breads are made with local honey. The recommendation from Jason Bauer was to be as smart as possible when advertising money. To get the tea shop its best chance, advertising would be recommended, but with restrictions. Do not waste money advertising when it would be better spent on engaging with the public personally and establishing a good word of mouth advertisement. So those were my conclusions and recommendations. And I'm supposed to show one of my best graphics to illustrate an important result. It's also kind of hard because I illustrated every single one of the questions. So I will show you the one that I thought was kind of the most interesting to me was what is your preferred morning drink? Um, 
specialty coffee one. I knew it was going to be pretty high, but water came in pretty high. I thought that was I mean, good for you guys. That's great. Water is very important. And also, I my graph here for what is a high tea, I guess I kind of assumed everyone knew what a high tea was. So I probably should have clarified what a high tea was. So that was my, my mistake on my graph. But it's okay. Next time. Um, so something that may be implemented based on my study would be the importance of coffee. I hate coffee so much, but can't deny that people like it. And I've actually already been in contact with Northbound Coffee, which is located up in Mount Shasta, and I would love to actually carry their product. They're a great company, and um, they've been very encouraging to me as a small business. So that is something that I really think I need to work on more, is including coffee in the tea shop. I know that might sound kind of counterproductive, but um, it's the feel we're going for, tea shop. But coffee is also an important um, aspect that we need to include, and also the Lack of a drive through I thought the people when taking this survey did not find a drive through to be crucial, which I thought it kind of would be, but I'm actually really glad that it's not because it really limits your building size and you're kind of, for a drive through you need to be stuck in the middle of town so people can drive in and out. So people not wanting a drive through actually frees me up to look for a building that would host high tea or board game nights and be able to fit the bakery in. So for me, that is something that was really encouraging. Um, something that I've learned from the pros proposal process, using my personal opinion, would be, um, I knew I had people who were fans and are supportive of me, but I was actually really surprised at just how much the Chamber of Commerce has appreciated my business and um, is very encouraging that it grows in the town of Red Bluff. It would be beneficial for them as well. So I think that would be something that I learned was that they, I've established my credibility and if I play it smart, that the business itself, the tea shop, could do extremely well as long as I include coffee and um, not worry so much about a drive-thru. Those were the two things that I really stood out to me. So, um, it's been a really interesting report. I've learned a lot about my bakery and what people would like for it to go forward to. And that was very encouraging for me. And um, I really did enjoy doing the survey part and interviewing Jason Bauer of the Chamber of Commerce. So, that's it. That concludes my research for the Rosen Watchman Bakery and tea shop formal business report.